Oof! Again? A few updates and a few things I missed to show you from before. And I will start with the obvious visuals. We see everything has been supersized since the last time, and we'll hardly miss click from now on. But the second and more important, and let me switch the extension off for better showing it to you. So that was before, and let's assume we'd like to switch off our network. We had to click on connection, open the submenu, and then disconnect. Perhaps that extra click seems like not a big deal, but it is actually killing you. Next we're gonna retry with the new menu, which was one thing I missed previously. Now if we click on network, and open the menu, there is not even an option to turn it off. That's because the network toggle is actually two buttons. On the left side we'll do an on off. Just like that. And on the right side we'll open the additional options. Pretty cool, in part why these buttons grew bigger. The other thing I want to show you, look, for example if we click on performance, the state of the button will change but without any transition. But if we click on theme switcher, both the application window and the menu button will animate with a fade out effect. And one more time. Now, if we go to the source code, we see the commit that adds the transition when we're switching color modes. And what basically does, is to apply an effect to the whole layout manager of shell, and not just to the toggle button. At this point I want to remind you two more ongoing discussions. And there is actual code for both of them. The first is for having a light mode of the GNOME shell interface. So similar how apps become dark and white, shell will do the same for various components like calendar and all those. And the second is we may eventually get an adaptive panel. Point is, when we switching the theme from here, everything will be repainted in a single time, giving us a nice transition effect. Oh, and again, this menu is coming on GNOME 43. Coco out.